Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here, and I am at a really, really, really neat place. This is known as the NATO Magnolia Mining Camp, also known as Indy Wells Canyon Recreation Area, and also formerly known as Siebert Recreational Area. But what this is, is an abandoned gold mining camp. Um, there's gold mining buildings, uh, <laughs> buildings for the gold miners and their um, tool sheds and their uh, they even have a chemistry lab over there. <laughs> These old buildings uh, in this area that have been here close to 100 years, I guess. I guess this was really mining big time back in the 50s. But uh, it's abandoned. Uh, right now it's owned by the Bureau of Land Management, uh, Department of the Interior, managed by them. And they've actually turned it into a campground, a free campground if you're in the area here. Uh, you just come up here and there's lots of little camp spots around here. There's one off in the distance over there. Um, unfortunately, there used to be a pit toilet here, but it doesn't look like they're, uh, the pit toilet's here anymore. So you'll have to find a spot in the ground and bury. <laughs> let's, let's not go into that. Let's talk about what we're here for. Uh, I want to use this X4 Pro. I got the Hobson X4 Pro with me today. X4 Pro, I've called it a, a FPV Explorer, and that's what we're going to try to do today, fly around the area. This area is l just, there's hiking trails everywhere in these hills. Going up to the top of that, going up to the top of Stensendero over there, uh, Alta Vista, George's View is up there, there's a gold mine up there, there's hiking trails zigzagging every one of these hills. Great, spectacular area. I'm going to try to fly around it today with my X4 Pro, so I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I got the quadcopter turned on, and I have GPS signal. Let me adjust the view angle here. Pointing it upward a bit. And I have signal, and I want to start and record the uh, video. Wait a minute, let me turn off this uh, screen so I can see that I've, my video camera's on. And we are recording now, and I am taking it up. Actually, I want to turn on my, um, let's turn on the video back again. And I want to record, or I want my uh, signal, my telemetry signal. We're ready to go now. Going, got the motor started. We're in GPS hold mode, position hold mode. Taking it up. And let it sit here for a second. I want to see how stable that is before we go any further. Obviously not. Are we in position hold? No. Now we are. Position hold mode is on now. Now I, <laughs> I took off in altitude hold mode. Let me verify everything's good. We're doing good. Now we're at about 5,000 feet up. Let me turn off some of that stuff. Starting recording again. I want to turn off that so I can see, turn off the telemetry so I can see my signal here and the voltage. We'll go up. By the gold mine. That's a gold mine right there, folks. Going a little far forward. Bringing it around the area. Let's go over by the gold miners campground here. Lowering the view so you can see it down there. Down there is the uh, campsites and the buildings. Raising the view back up again. Now this hill here has tungsten mine on top of it, but we're not going to fly on top of it. <laughs> It's flying around the area. Again, this is the NATO Magnolia Gold Mine Camp and Tungsten Mine Camp. Let's see if I can get a little more altitude here. And raising my camera a bit too. Up on top of this hill here is known as George's View. 
Let's see if we can see George's view looking over the top of the hill. I don't want to go any higher. Okay, coming back down. Now this area used to have so much Joshua trees around here until there was a huge fire about 10 years ago. Burned up most of the Joshua trees, which is a shame. Let me see if I can find the uh, NATO Magnolia Mining Camp logo sign, or sign down below here. <laughs> here, let's go over to that campground there. You see that? Let's see if I can show you that. But again, there's camp spots all around this area here. BLM put them in. Pretty nice. Very rustic though. Again, you know, uh, the porta potties aren't here right now. Maybe they put them in later in the season here. Bringing it back toward me. Getting a little bit breezy here. There's another campground up here, I believe. Should still be there. Camp spot. There's flies buzzing all around me here. Okay, I'm going to bring it in now. Again, we're flying at about uh, 5,000 feet, so I don't know what my flight time is. What's my battery? It says 11 volts, so I'm still good. But I'm keeping it short today. Well, let's fly just a little bit more. The lights are still good. Again, this is NATO Magnolia Mine Camp. Neat spot. So if you're in the vicinity of India Wells Canyon, make sure you take the time to check out this spot. It's at the very top of the canyon. Check out this ore crusher here. Let's go right above it. And that's an ore crusher. <laughs> okay, coming down. I got other things to fly today, so I'm going to cut short here. Because you might be getting bored of this area. Hello there! <laughs> and bringing it in for a landing, or raising up the camera. There we go. Again, that's the Hubson X4 Pro. Really neat quadcopter, folks. I'm starting to like this more and more each time I fly it. <laughs> it's just really capable quadcopter. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. I'm just walking around. I wanted to show you this. Again, this is the prospector's cabin down there. Uh, it looks like they took the windows out. Yeah. Somebody broke the windows. That's a shame. It had a door on it, too, but the door seems to be missing now. <laughs> Yeah, some vandals came up and broke all the windows. Oh, that's a shame. But people camp out in there also. Um, I don't know if it's haunted or not. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody died up here. 
Uh, this is one of their labs, like I said, mining lab. They would uh, bring their ore in and uh, check the ore content. And another, another one of the test labs right here. Just a really neat area to explore, folks. Now, again, there are trails everywhere here. This particular trail here, if you can it'll take you to the top of that mound there, and you can continue on north, or I'm sorry, west, and you'll eventually hit the Pacific Crest Trail up on the side of Mount Jenkins. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've done it. About 10 years ago, I've done it. <laughs> not, it's been a while. I don't know if I can still do it, folks. And again, this is the cabin. We'll go through the cabin here. I'm taking my dog for a walk is why we're doing this. But uh, this is just a little bonus to your video. This is the miner's cabin. Can we still get in here? It's been about five years since I've been into this cabin. I used to have a guest book inside that you would sign. Come on. And I don't see the guest book anymore. But again, this is the lower part of the cabin. Sleeping quarters over here. And they even had a little stove here. And the upper part of the cabin is more living quarters. Let's see if we can get up there. And yeah. Bars of ivory soap are for rodent control. Please leave them in the cabin. Donated by Paul Siebert. Um, he was the last owner of this mine before it closed down. So, interesting, huh? <laughs> what you see out in the desert. The hills have eyes in that. <laughs> and finally, let's go by the rock crusher. I'm not sure what that is. Well, I guess they crush it, then it goes through the shaker, and uh, then it goes through this thing, and uh, I'm not sure, folks. I'm, I'm not a miner, but there's some heavy equipment here. <laughs> so, some kind of mill. <laughs> the letters are missing. So, like I said, you know, neat place to explore. Come visit Indian Wells Canyon. Highly recommend it. Like I said, I've been up and down every one of these trails in these hills. Just a really cool place. our car well on to the next adventure I got other things to fly today I'm gonna fly my 501s from Hubson and I'm gonna try to get another get a another flight up here of the Cherson CX 91 so see you in a bit